Hey YouTube family, welcome back to the video. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So friends, in this video, I will discuss most important questions of unit number three, which is fiber optics. And it's a very important unit among all the six unit in your subject code PHY110, which is engineering physics. So guys, before proceeding the videos, I want to let you know one thing that I have already uploaded the important MCQs of unit number one and unit number two. You can find the link of that videos in the description box. If you guys have not watched the videos, please go through the description box and find the link and go through that videos. Okay. So without wasting any time, let's proceed with the first question, which is what is the primary function of optical fiber in communication system? Option number A is to transmit electricity. Option number B is to transmit data using light. Option number C is to transmit sound waves. And last option is to transmit radio waves. Correct option is option number B which is to transmit data using light. Next question. Optical fiber act as dielectric wave guides. What is a die dielectric wave guide primarily designed to guide? Option number A electric current option number b magnetic field option number c light waves and last option is sound waves correct option is light waves next question total internal reflection in optical fiber occurs at the boundary between the core and what option number a cladding option number b buffer coating option number c jacketing and last option is insulation correct option is option number a which is cladding next question what is the acceptance angle in optical fiber is it the angle at which light exits the fiber or at which light enters the fiber or the angle of total internal reflection or the angle of refraction correct option is the angle at which light enters the fiber next question numerical aperture is a measure of the light gathering ability of an optical fiber and depends on what option number a the core diameter and wavelength of light option number b the cladding thickness option number c the power of light source and last option is the temperature of the environment correct option of this question is option number a which is the core diameter and wavelength of light next question the the relative refractive index is the ratio of the refractive index of the core to the refractive index of the what is it cladding or buffer coating or light source or jacketing correct option is cladding next question what is the primary role of the v number in optical fiber option number a it describes the speed of light in the fiber option number b it it characterizes the dispersion properties of the fiber. Option number C is it defines the core diameter. And last option is it relates to the numerical aperture. Correct option is option number D which is it relates to the numerical aperture. Eighth number question which is a step index optical fiber have a core width. Option number A a uniform refractive index. Option number B a varying refractive index. And C option is no core and last option is multiple cores. Correct option is a uniform refracting index. If you guys are feeling nervous, none do not worry, guys. Go through all the 60 questions which I have discussed in the three videos now. Then you will be feeling confident while attempting the questions in the examinations. Okay. Do not miss any one of the questions. All the 60 questions are equally important. Next question is graded index optical fibers have a core with what a uniform refractive index a varying refractive index or no core or multiple cores of correct option is a varying refractive index next question is in optical fibers which type of fiber tends to have less modal dispersion option number a step index option number b graded index option number c is both the same dispersion and last option is neither has neither has modal dispersion correct option of this question is option number a which is a step index next question what is the primary reason for using graded index fiber in some optical system option number a to reduce modal dispersion option number b to increase the core diameter option number c to decrease the numerical aperture 
and last option is to increase the course uniformity correct option of this question is option number a which is to reduce model dispersion guys i am requesting you to please do subscribe the channel please it really motivates me to make such videos and if you guys do not subscribe the channel and then i am not feeling like uh, happy to make the videos so please do subscribe the channel please please i am requesting you to subscribe the channel please let's proceed with the 12th number question in optical fibers which of the following is not a common type of loss option number a attenuation option number b dispersion option number c is scattering and last option is absorption correct option is option number b which is dispersion is the correct option for this question and next question is optical fiber loose is due to a scattering of light by impurities or defects in the material are called what is it attenuation losses model dispersion losses railing scattering losses or absorption losses correct option is railing scattering losses is the correct option next question in optical fiber absorption losses occurs primarily due to option number a reflection at the core cladding boundary option number b a scattering of light by impurities option number c absorption of light energy by the material and last option is modal dispersion correct option is option number c which is absorption of light energy by the material 15th number question is chromatic dispersion in optical fiber is related to the what option number a variation in the refractive index with wavelength option number b is reflection losses at the core cladding boundary option number c is model dispersion and last option is attenuation losses correct option of this question is option number a which is variation in the refractive index with wavelength 16th number question micro bending losses in optical fibers are caused by what option number a large variations in the core diameter option number b microscopic bending of the fiber option number c tiny bends or distonations in the fiber and last option is impurities in the cladding correct option is option number c which is tiny bends in the distonation in the fiber next question which of the following is a common material used for the core of the optical fiber very important questions this questions was also asked in the previous midterm examination option number a copper glass aluminium or plastic correct option is glass and it was a very simple questions also next question which type of optical fiber is best suitable for long distance telecommunications due to low attenuation option number a step index option number b graded index option number c plastic and last option is single mode sorry ha, sorry single mode is correct option of this question is single mode 19th number question what is the typical core diameter of a single mode optical fiber is it 62.5 micrometer is it 50 micrometer 200 micrometer or 1 mm correct option is 50 micrometer 20th number question it, and it is the last question of this session model dispersion is a common issue in which type of optical fiber option number a single mode option number b multi mode option number c step index and last option is graded index correct option of this question is multi mode so this was the all 60 questions which i have discussed in the three videos thank you so much guys for watching the videos if you guys have enjoyed watching the videos please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel and share these videos throughout the every groups thank you so much guys bye bye